There. That's it. That's him. Buenos dias, comrades. How you guys doing today? You know it is. As always, it's Mr. Warmack, and I'm in the building to give you videos. I hope you're going to learn some. And if you don't, ask yourself, is it your fault or is it my fault? 95% of the time, it's your fault. Nothing's 100% in life, so let's roll in. Today I'm going to tell you how in America there's a there's been a cultural shift back, not cultural shift, there's been a political shift back to the left. You know, talk about the end, it's slowly shifting, but there is a shift back to the left, you know, politically wise. While Republicans are starting to finally see, as we've been saying over here, that they should be falling back from the Tea Party, and they are, they're slowly falling back from the Tea Party, which, by the way, Boehner needs to go, but uh, they're falling back from the Tea Party. Even Doug Christie in New Jersey suggests, like, the grand old party needs to go places where they feel uncomfortable, i.e. the hood, the barrio, the trailer park. But uh, the, the, the America is tired of the birther issue. If you listen to the Tea Party, look, Obama's been elected. He, whether he's a birth, whether he's been born here or not, what are you going to do? Arrest him? I mean, I know you're trying to, but go after the policies. Don't go after. St you got to pick your battles. I, I know the birther issue. I understand that generates a lot of views and a lot of interest. But if the Supreme Court said his birth certificate is valid, go after the man's political issues. You could. There was a big thing about Obamacare that you let slide through. Now you want to talk about it. It's it's like the Republicans are like the new Democrats. And I know people hate to hear me say that, but it's the truth. The fact of the matter is you don't want to listen to reality and you don't want to look reality in the face. The Republicans are the old Democrats because the Republicans are losing their backbone. Not that the Democrats are having one, is that the Republicans are fucking up so bad that the Democrats, all they got to do if they were smart is to sit back, chill out, and let the shit roll downhill. Because, you know... It's getting to the point, you know, that the birth issue, the six years, I mean, six years into his presidency, seriously? Six years? He got two years to go and he's done. What are you going to do? And we'll get into the birther issue. Here's this deal. You all talk about the birther issue, and you got Ted Cruz trying to run, for, you want him to run for president? Do you see how stupid you people sound? Ted Cruz was born in Canada. Now, if you thought that, and then, well, where's, where's the hypocrisy in that? That's why I don't fuck with the fucking Tea Party, because they're fucking, they're led by idiots. And then Banner had this, no, Banner didn't have the fucking jewels to step up and say, hey man, there's some hypocrisy here. And even in a closed door meeting, none of the top Republican brass had the balls to say something to these Tea Party wackos. You know, America's about jobs, the quality of life, you know, etc. And that's what we weren't about the last the last shit since Clinton signed NAFTA. How's that? We went. We haven't been that since Clinton, Clinton signed NAFTA. And I know Slick Willie signed NAFTA. Hey, that was one of the dumbest things that fucking dude ever did. He tried to be all you know, all all friends and shit, trying to coexist on Capitol Hill. Slick Willie fucked up with NAFTA. But uh, there, it's it's. It's really the, to the detriment of Americans, all this infighting you guys are doing. Like, you guys want, to, like, the fiscal cliff. You guys, the Republicans keep saying, well, we want, we're, we're going to hold up until we get Obamacare in our past. Like, I read into that a lot. Some people can read into it, but right now you got the political advantage to where you can use that. But we got, I digress on that point. I'm not going to go, I'm not going to go in on that. You know, you know in, a lot, in a lot of ways, the liberals or smart, but yet they're stupid. Like the liberals, if I were them, I would pound the fuck out of the Democrats, I mean, out of the Republicans. I would take their ass to task on a lot of this shit. Because like I said, the Republican Party, the Republicans shouldn't be going after blacks and, and Latinos. Because with these issues that are coming up, like right now, um, the civil rights thing, sections four and five being nullified, and like, yet the Supreme Court says yes to gay marriage. Now, if the Republicans had any clues they would go after blacks and Hispanics because you want to lie? Blacks and Hispanics, whether you like it or not, were more culturally conservative. Fiscally, they're liberal, but they're culturally conservative. And you can play upon that. If you go to a black church, look, black churches are more stricter than white churches as far as that goes. 
I know. I mean, I know a lot of white churches was because white churches. Listen, I knew people that like you know. Well, God loves everybody. Yes, God loves everybody. But at the end of the day, you know, if I'm not judging, but it's just the point through, and he don't like that. If you don't like stealing, and I'm stealing, I can't be faithful to my God, can I? But that's the repressive Republican problem is they're going after the wrong crowd. They're, they're picking the wrong battles. They're going after what the Gallup poll says and what's like popular to say. He's a birther. Go after the homosexual issue, you fucking idiot. You'll get more traction with it. But you guys don't want to, you know why? Because like Christy said, you'll have to go in unfamiliar territory. You might have to go to a black church. You might have to go to a barrier, a church in a barrier. You might have to visit a trailer park once in a while in West Virginia. You just don't want to do that because, like I said, you feel uncomfortable. And this is the reason why you guys are going to lose in 2014. I, I keep calling it. Y'all keep losing. So, until the Republicans get the set of nuts, get rid of the wackos in a tea party, or tell them they need to get more mainstream with them, it's going to be over. And then you're going to keep this shift to the left. So, I'm out of here. Oh, yeah, prove me wrong. Or no. Peace. There. That's it. That's him.